Yo, coming to you live from Brazil. Brazil. We're in Florianopolis, the island of Ila Santa Catarina, in the state of Santa Catarina. And we're about to go do the hike of the Feral, which is a lighthouse. We have our hiking boots on, our sunblock on, our fresh shades, we're ready to rise. I think we're at the Mole Beach. We made it to the Mole Beach all the way down from that hike. Super nice hike. As you can see, this beach is wonderful. This is Brazil at its finest. Oi, which is hello in Brazil or Portuguese. Yes. Oi, we are doing the Tria de Matadero this morning, which we've heard very good things about. It's a little bit muddy, but it should be fun. Sun's out, which means Christoph's guns are out. And oh. we're gonna be hiking up. It's gonna be an epic hike. It's one of the best views in all of Florianopolis. Uh, let's go see what's good. We've come across something left by the indigenous tribes right here. Oh my God, that is an artifact right there. It must have been the way that they used to sit. Look at how we've come so far. This hike is so beautiful. There's green everywhere, lush jungle. And I, you know, the Portuguese came and discovered this land in the 16th century. I feel like an explorer right now. You can call me Vasco da Gama. Distance, sunrise, sunset, average speed, 1.7 miles per hour. The app is called Gaia. Not like G-U-Y, look at how it's spelled right here. Doop. It's Gaia. And it allows you to traverse through amazing hikes with the comfort of a GPS. Now this is not the Amazon. We're a bit farther out, we're actually on the coast. But everywhere in Brazil is incredibly green. And even just being on the coast, this lush green area is just so impressive and beautiful. You would say it's some of the lushest that you've seen in all of South America, is it not? Yeah, definitely. It's very tropical. Lots of crazy plants and bugs and things. Uh, pretty unique after some time down further south. Digging it. Yeah, you can find some edible insects around here if you'd like to, to get real weird. We're gonna eat some grasshoppers now. Chapulines in Mexico. Is that a lightsaber that you have in your hand? I think Yoda's hiding around here somewhere. It reminds me of Star Wars Episode Five when he's hiding out there and Luke must go there to regain the Force. Find him, you shall. Notice the stark difference when you turn around this corner. All the wind that's blowing up here with the salt water is decreasing the plant life. It's no longer jungle. You have these incredible rocks that are more pronounced. It looks like almost Ireland. And it's just amazing. We're out here all by ourselves just having a blast. That was the end of hike one. 
as you walk across the beach, it's the hike that people tend to do more. The Morro da Cora, or the Trela Sem Siada. Yes, I'm reading it, it's in front of me. Which has this amazing view. Get a really Instagram worthy picture that Christoph's really excited to get. Woo! reached La Cumbre, or La Cima, the summit. And in classic Paraguayan fashion, we're doing what we only know how to do. Drink mate. Well, actually that would be Argentinian fashion. <laughs> they drink terror ray. Can you get to the right a little bit? Does this pose make my butt look big? Oh, sweet baby Jesus. Oh, sweet John. We've made it. What a journey. As you can see, because we're sitting down, we have finished the hike only after six and a half miles. And uh, what was that, six hours? Yeah, six hours, 1,700 feet of ascent. Good leg burner. It's good leg burner. We combined two of the most popular trails in all of Florianopolis together. And to celebrate, Sauji. Sauji. We are having a adult beverage. Mm.